Oh, hi, so I'm recording this in my bathroom. I'm just gonna move all over the place now and do videos. Try to do them wherever. So I'm gonna review French werewolves that I got from um, my friends here in San Antonio, the, the Scholar brothers. So let me just, I had to write down, I'm gonna do a track by track re review, see how this goes. So the first one, French werewolves, I hated it. Uh, it made me not want to listen to the rest of it, but I got over it and I can listen to it. All right, like first I was skipping over it, but then I can, put, I can listen to it. The, s the second song, Don't Forget to Smile. I like the lyrics and even though this song sounds terrible, it's weird, it's like compared to normal, I almost listen to metal or grind or death metal now. Uh, compared to like normal music, this is terrible, but it's good in a, in a way. Uh, and I think this is one of the better songs on here. Same goes with Toilet Form, which I had heard before. And it's also one of the, like, the, I think these are the two best songs on here. Um, I like the lyrics. And it's just different. It, yeah, it's just, I wrote down, it's different than what normal music is music is so it's kind of refreshing uh the fourth track goats our class class or Gla goats our class eyes um it just goes by real quick and uh since it's, it's, it's a bad um um it's a it's a cover song i can't remember who who did it right bad um, i want to say bad religion but black flag i think it's a black flag uh, the fifth track, Lemon Tree, Hangnail. I like how they put the, wor the word BMX into the lyrics. Uh, I like the coughing. It's fast, it's upbeat, goes by quick. The sixth track, Dogs Love Trucks. It seems like a minimalist track, but it, you can tell there's a lot of stuff going on in the background. Number seven, Skinwalker. Is that you, Food? I mean, food's not gonna see this anyway. Oh yeah, I gotta talk about Food. It's plotting, it's not just it's like a fat sounding track. Uh, I think it is, is that a tuba? I doubt it. Anyway, f uh, Food did this. It's a collaboration between the Scalari Brothers and Food. And uh, I mean, just Food is, is a legend in the, in the scene. His band Sockeye was like uh, Seth Putnam, Putnam from Manal Cunt's favorite band. Or that's what everybody says. And Sockeye, well, I always put Sockeye in the background. Right now, I'm listening to a lot of Celtic Frost too. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, the eighth track, Essential Service. It's the first song that I've heard about the virus. It sounds like Devo. I'm not, just kidding. Uh, kind of in the vocals. I think I hear a guitar. This is one of the more uh, like upbeat, up, I wrote poppy tracks. It's easy on the ears. Uh, number nine, Walnut Enema. It, it sounds like a normal song, but... Uh, it's like chanting, cool noises, and then it just kind of drifts off. Comes back, and but it's it's a good one. Uh, the King Tut of Alabama. That's my favorite song uh, title for sure. It's noisy with like robot vocals, weird, cool lyrics. Uh, I liked it. Uh, Woken on the sunshine. Uh, I don't like the vocals, but I like the guitar behind it. So uh, yeah, kind of the vocals kind of ruin that one. Is spleen extra? It's the 11th song. Horns, it just kind of slinks by. Not very memorable. Uh, 13, Fermented Turkey Legs, Industrial with Sick Vocals. This actually sounds like a song I can hear. I think I've heard bands like this, or at least the, the, the vocals. There are whole bands that, like genres of bands that do songs like this. So it's weird that just one song that they do is like, you know, there's like a whole world of bands probably not anymore but i remember bands like uh, doing songs like this um let's see the next track ants made me think of when it's about ants i remember when i got attacked by ants when i was a little kid uh, it's pretty straightforward a track the 15th track we're already on 15 venezuela it's no lyrics i wrote down it's like slow a slowed down voice and like a strung guitar made me think of like a made me think of when I was reading uh, The Crossing by uh, 
Cormac McCarthy for some reason, like a, just like a dusty ghost town with a few people living in it in Mexico. And the last track, Moonstuff Cookbook. It's a good song. It's a good song to end the to end the album with. Uh, well, yeah, the effect, effects on the vocals are really cool, real echoey, like. I was thinking, man, if you were tripping on acid, something crazy. Um, and then I drew, where did it go? Where is it? I drew a, a werewolf for French werewolves. I didn't, I didn't want to draw a beret because they have a lyric sheet with the, with the werewolf with the beret. So I drew him holding a piece of, of French bread and the French flag. It's stupid. I drew it like five minutes. So yeah, it has the lyric sheet. Which I really like. They, they put a lot of work into the lyrics. There's a werewolf. The art's cool, and I like having lyrics. And even though this music is like nonsense, it really helped help me uh, like get to know the songs. So it's uh, like here's the. I don't know how much they want. I'll put like the emails. Those werewolves are cool. I like it. I like the. I do like the name French Werewolves. Um, there's a little taco rat. So I'll put the emails and yeah, uh, if this sounds interesting, you should get in touch. It's just different, so that, that's always good. So just look at the French Werewolves that are 